Welcome to Mr. and Mrs. B's Brain Dump. In this video, Mr. B will show you how to DIY an external mic through the Sony housing. So far, Mr. B has added a side mount to a Sony AS15 action cam. The next problem is to fit an external mic as currently no one can hear him. The plan here is to drill a hole into the waterproof housing that will allow him to connect up an external mic. There will also be a need to modify the flap at the bottom of the camera. Once this is done, Mr B will be able to hook up an external mic and finally be able to record his voice while riding without needing a second recording device. Next task then is to um, get our hole for our mic to go in the bottom of the AS15 housing. So the first thing we want to do <laughs> is pull that off. And then uh, you can see down inside there are two screws and we need to locate them and get like a, a watchmaker's Phillips screwdriver down on those two screws inside. Let's take this sleeve out so that we can then um, use that to see through to the mic plug. We'll get to that bit in a minute. So let's just unscrew those first. I've undone two screws, I'm just going to pull this sleeve out now. There we go. Okay, uh, the two screws are still uh, inside, you can see. I've just left them in. It's hard to see. I do all in one. Yeah, you can see that. Anyway, leave them in. Set that over there for the moment. Right, we can now see. Uh, right through the housing. So the next problem that we have, as I mentioned, that that side mount is awesome. Awesome! Yes, yes, it's really genius. Thanks for the input. Right. So the next problem with our Sony AS15 is that the R&D department are a bunch of muppets. That's our problem. Um, but apart from that, what we need to do is and do the flap so that um, I can see the mic hole. So there's the flap undone and the little the boy we're after is that one there. We want to see that through the housing. Only trouble is you can't have the flap open when it's in the housing. So what do we do? We get rid of the flap. Um, now, don't like discard the flap or anything because I'm I'm going to try and save it and make use of it. So I'm just going to take it off for now. And I think there are yeah two Phillips. Try and get in close for you. There are two Phillips. In fact, I can see it on the bloody better on the camera. There's one there, and there's one there. Undo those two. That's what I'm going to do now. Try and do it in shot if I can. Okay, that's one. Just yeah. that off. Always make sure that yes, little tip. Always make sure your screwdriver or Phillips fits the screw or Phillips head nice and snug. Otherwise, you know what will happen. You'll strip the head and then you can't get the flipping nut out or the screw or whatever. Same goes for bolts, hexes. Get the right tool for the job, otherwise, you'll end up having a nightmare. I'm just done doing the other one. That's loose. There we go. Stick it down there. There we go. I've just pulled the whole shebang out. Um, the flap's on some sort of catch. Oh, there it is there. Uh, yeah, I'll be easy. Let's put that out of the way for a minute. Rotate it the right way. There, see that little notch there. 
that's what the flap attaches to so that it doesn't come out. Anyway, we're going to leave all that off for now because um, I want to see I want to see that sucker when it's in the housing. Here's my housing. Uh, make sure you remember that. Right. Wow, I didn't know I did that. <laughs> the whole camera's <laughs> There you go, there's a learning thing for you. Careful. Because the whole housing comes off. Ah, uh, hilarious. Well, this is what I mean, there's nothing cut from this. Everything you see is what I see. Everything that happens is, is what happens, basically. Right, I'm going to put the housing back on. It's a bit fucking stupid, isn't it? Okay. Just thinking about it. Oh, there we go. Right. I've pushed the housing back on. So when you do it, you can learn from my own mistakes and just bear in mind that the housing of the naked Sony will fall off if you undo those two screws at the bottom. Probably at first, uh, and you saw it at first on Mr. B's brain dump. Anyway, right, let's get in the housing. So I'm just going to slide that into the housing. Voila. Right, now I'm guessing when that lid comes over, does it push it back any further? Do you know what? I'm just going to check because obviously, ultimately, this this is going to be on the front. Um, so I'm just going to attach that back in and do you just see when it's closed where the mic position is. Oh, that's on. I'll clamp that down. Does it push the camera back? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does pull push the camera back. I don't know if you can see this. I've got it loose at the moment, I'm trying to get it close. If you watch um, the Sony label, I don't know what you can see there. As I pull that, it's pushing the camera back. So I need to be wary of that, otherwise my hole's going to be off. Right. Trusted Sharpie pen. Permanent marker. Put the torch in my mouth so I can see what I'm doing. Ok, I've marked it. Let's take the camera out. You can see that. Right on that line, that's where it, where it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill that through, start with a small drill. I've only, well, I think the most appropriate drill is going to be a metal drill, so I'm going to use that. Starting small and work out until I've got a big enough hole to put the jack through. That's what's next. Right, metal drills, go for the smallest first, and the smallest I've got is a size 4. So we'll start with that baby. Obviously we need a drill. Make sure, of course, with your screwdriver drills that they go the right way. Otherwise, you'll be drilling for a while. Okay. Now, I'm using this white paper so that I can see where I need, uh, where I've marked, and that's where it's going to go. Um, I don't want to be slipping down though. So what I'm going to do? In fact, I'm going to get a cable tie. So I don't want to slip away from where I want to be. I'm going to put a cable tie around. Make sure that I don't slip. On there, so that when I start drilling, um, I don't slip down the housing. 
I stay within the hole. Once I've got the hole made, I'm fine because then as I get the bigger drills, um, it's not a problem. Right, let's do it. Get bored now. I don't know if you can see anything. I guess you can see that. I don't know how much you could have seen of that, but anyway, I just got through. There's my hole. Alright, get rid of this cable tie now. Just snip that off. Fingers and thumbs tonight. Right. Right, one hole. That's right dead centre. And that tells me that um, I'm going to be chewing away a little bit at this outside part of the house and get that in. Which ain't a problem. Right, so. Always draw it out. Next size up. I'm sorry. Now I've got a mic jack, I don't know how wide I need to get on this. Yeah. Oh, that ain't gonna go in the moment. So we're gonna have to go a little bit bigger. I think we found the size that you require for a Sony AS15 mic jack. And it's a size. Come on. And it's a size 10. Size 10 metal drill. Wow. Well, <laughs> feel, feels wrong. Right. My mic jack should now go in. Yeah, perfect. There's a lot of spork in there. Right, so we'll put our cam in now. El Mico. There's the El Mico, El Plugino. Our next up. Just drilling this bad boy. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it in, mark it through the hole, and then drill it. Sharpie. 
Right, you should be able to see. Get that angle right. That circle I've marked. That's where we're going to drill a hole. Uh, you can see that little ring there. I'm just going to drill in the centre of that. And again, start small, work your way out. This time I'm just going to go small and then big. Give me a drill. Take that last one out. Small one in. Okay, I guess you can see that. One more centre point. I'm going to go midway. Actually, I'm not going to go straight to last. Make sure your box is empty. <laughs> Tell you what, these metal drills go through this plastic like butter. For that reason, I'm going to not go straight to last, I'm going to step out slowly, be responsible. And that's why. In fact, I'm not going to go to the large one because it chews through so quickly. I'm going to bore it with this. What I'm doing there is just wiggling the drill around as it's spinning, obviously. And that... That I'm happy with. Okay. Trying to show everything to camera just makes everything takes... like a year longer just to do it on camera, but if I can save everyone else a year of their time then hopefully they'll appreciate this time that I'm spending putting this on camera and as a bonus I've got a log that I can refer to when I come to do this again because no doubt I'll have to because some of the R&D department employ Muppets right I'm happy that's tight now okay lovely I'm just gonna now while that's in place Be warned, you're going to get a little swarf everywhere, but... See, clean out the housing, because you don't want all these bits of swarf getting on your lens when you go out and do your vlog. But you end up with a rather attractive, perfectly formed hole on both the insert and the outside on the insert and the outside allowing the all important external microphone I'm gonna have to I might have to buy something because I don't think this mic's gonna do it for me but 
I can now plug in my like. The microphone came all the way from Italy. Yeah, and it's like a gazillion years old. Have you, have you seen it? Like a year and a half. Right. Okay, everyone else has got these fancy things on YouTube with a sponge on. Look at that! What the fuck? It was off a webcam. Hello, my name is Microphone. It's not the sort of microphone that everyone else is using, to be fair. But we'll see if we can adapt it. I won't spend money. I shaved the head and sprayed it silver, would you? No. I'll try not to spend money. I'll try and modify this thing from a wet camera and see if I can make it work. And if I can, I will, because you know me, I don't like to spend money. Um, so the flap goes like that. So I want to cut. I want to cut. Uh, that's the point with. I want to cut that bin out going from the bottom up and try to remain the bottom part of that flap so that I can retain as much of this flap as I can. That's not going to grip that way. Nibble it is. See if I've done enough to keep my flap. Let's see. So let's go around how this goes. Around that way. Okay. Okay, the uh, apologies, the memory card got full, so I had to stop the camera and take it out and empty the memory card. So I left you with um, one screw in, one more to go. I think I've managed to retain that other end of the flap so it clips in properly, and I'll show you as soon as I get this other screw in. Okay, so that's both the screws back in. But what I wanted to achieve was to retain this part of the flap because it clips in at both ends. So now I've achieved what I set out to do was keep both ends of the flap so it locates in but leaving the mic socket available. There's a heck of a lot of movement. I don't know if you can see that. Look how much movement there is inside that housing. Anyway, what we wanted is a hole that we can locate the microphone and plug it into the camera. Mission accomplished. Right, just to update you at the end, I'm just showing you here what I did in order to retain the clasp and not break it off. I've left it on so that I can use it, so if I want to use it without a mic I can still seal the camera. So I've left that on, but you can access the hole through the clip at the bottom. Okay? And it's just a simple case of popping in your camera, push it back a bit when you're trying to locate the mic. 
through that little clasp gap like so into the camera and then I've just used some sticky velcro okay to make sure that the cap stays on so here's my cap and like that push it down and sticky velcro round okay and in order to stop this class flapping about I put an extra bit of velcro on that too okay just to stick that down there and then it's attached to my crash helmet with lanyards um, to the side of the crash helmet and of course with the side mount that's in my other video you can then adjust that on the side of your crash helmet and so on and that's it external mic waterproof, plenty waterproof I thought about sealing this, no need it, it's fine as it is water doesn't get in and I've been in some torrential rain with it just like this okay that's it uh, thanks for watching see you on the next one ride safe